Well, it could appear just maybe, just maybe there was some, well, honesty or truth behind the allegations that Dr. Disrespect was messaging a minor on Twitch and Whisper app. And we have some basic articles here we have from PC Games. Dr. Disrespect confirms Twitch cut. Dr. Disrespect confirms Twitch cut ties due to his messages to a minor. Dr. Disrespect finally addresses his ban from Twitch. And we'll go to the docs statement itself here and we'll go over it and give it a read and i'll give you my thoughts as per usual here we go all right like i said before from the doc the twitch ban hello i'd like to make a quick statement let's cut out the fucking bullshit as you know there is no filter with me i've always been upfront and real with you guys on anything that i can be upfront about and i'm always willing to accept responsibility which is why i'm here now okay so it kind of sounds like uh, he wasn't really able to say much before but now that people are blabbing he's probably got a legal some type of legal standing to talk kind of first and foremost i do want to apologize to everyone in my community as well as those close to me my team and everyone at midnight society game studio okay so it's kind of basic bitch apology so far all right a lot of people have been left in the dark about what happened yesterday with midnight society and we made the painful decision collectively to have me step down our team is full of incredibly talented and good people that have high career ambitions and families and i never want to jeopardize the culture we have carefully crafted okay so i know some people will make the argument stepping down or getting fired or whatever to because they don't they they want to distance themselves from him i'm gonna go in the opposite direction of that perhaps i'm only saying perhaps i'm not saying i know for sure he was like you know what or even collectively they're like you know what maybe it's better for you to take a step back that way the psychos don't attack us too that way they're not putting midnight society in jeopardy by still having him. That would be my guess. Everyone has been wanting to know why I was banned from Twitch, but for reasons outside of my, my control, I was not allowed to say anything for the last several years. I'm imagining probably an NDA. Now that two former Twitch employees have publicly disclosed the accusations, I can now tell you my side of the story regarding the ban. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017 the answer is yes we were their real intentions behind these messages the answer is absolutely not these were casual mutual conversations that someone that sometimes leaned too much in the direction of being inappropriate but nothing more nothing illegal happened no pictures were shared no crimes were committed. I never even met this individual. I went through a lengthy, lengthy arbitration regarding a civil dispute which with Twitch, and that was resolved by a settlement. The, let me be clear, it was not a criminal case against me, and no criminal charges have ever been brought against me. Okay, so this brings me to a question. Did Doc know that this was a minor at the time of the messaging? Because regardless if there was a crime or not, if he knew it was a minor, it's still kind of icky, you know? But if he didn't know, then how do you justify rail him over coals for it if you don't know, right? Let's continue. Now, from a moral standpoint, I absolutely take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with, because maybe he didn't know. That's on me as an adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. I'm not perfect, and I'll fucking own my shit. This was stupid. Now, with all this said, don't get it fucking mistaken. I've seen all the remarks and labels being thrown around so loosely. Social media is a destruction zone. I'm no fucking predator or pedophile, and you are kidding me. Anyone that truly knows me fucking knows where I stand on those things. With those type of people. Yeah, maps against the wall. Fuck that. That's a different level of disgust that I fucking hate even hearing about. Don't be labeling me as the worst of the worst with your exaggerations. Get the fuck 
out of here with that shit. But I think I've said what I needed to say regarding the ban itself. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision in 2020. To my team, community, industry friends that have supported me, I apologize. I wish I could have said all this sooner. You guys have always showed me and my family love and support throughout all of these years. We have you guys. We love you guys like you can't imagine. I have the fucking best community and circle. If anyone has, if any of this has made you uncomfortable, I get it. You don't have to support me anymore, but I just want you to know you always have been greatly appreciated. Holy hell, this is longer than I thought. But trust me when I say this to all my haters that live and breathe social media with zero real life experience, I don't give a fuck about you. Good. Finally, if you're uncomfortable, uncomfortable with this entire statement and think I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. But I'm not fucking going anywhere. I'm not the same guy that made this mistake all those years ago. I'm taking an extended vacation with my family, as mentioned, on stream, and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. If they want me to disappear, yeah, fucking right. So... Oh god, I sound like Grace Randolph for a second there, didn't I? So, I'm not... Well, like I said before, I'll see you later on. Bye-bye.